you love it? Yeah, I do. That's so cool. Hello everybody, so we're back. Here's Diana back from the haircut we did a couple of weeks ago, the bi-level cut. Weeks. Was it a couple of weeks ago? How long was it? A month and a half. Wow, is that how much time goes by? Right so, anyway, the point is, is, here we are after the fact, so we're going to ask some questions here. How's your haircut been? Great. You love loving it? it? Loving it. Now walking around in public with a dated haircut, because this haircut's dated from like 30 or 40 years ago. Do you feel dated with it? No. 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 Because no. we're just taking something from the past and making it valid today. And if you look at what you've been doing with it, this, this is you doing this this morning. Isn't that amazing? Now, when I was in high school back in 19 diggity do, <laughs> you see a girl walking in the hallway with, with this haircut. Absolutely. And uh, it's va as valid today as it ever was. Yeah, then people at home can leave a comment like, oh my god, I love that. I haven't seen the back, I'm glad I actually looks good. Yeah, no, it's awesome, yeah. So what are we doing today? Bleach. Yeah, we're going to bleach it. Wait, well, look what we got here. We're going to put a speaking cap over your head. And uh, we're going to go with that. And of course it's after hours as usual, and we're doing our usual, as we do. Mm -hmm. Getting drunk on a Thursday, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, it's kind of a little hot. But I bought extra too. Well oh. prepared. Wow. Anyhow. Just came in the uh, courier today. And then the people uh, were making comments online that it had to be a silicone one. It is a silicone streaking cap. So I did that, well I did my research. <laughs> I don't actually use these in the salon. Um, I just find them like tedious and more. I'd rather just, but anyhow, we're gonna do this on the channel. And I think the one thing I remember with these is the holes are not broken through. So we're gonna have to puncture through them. Oh. Yeah, we are. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pause the video for now. I'm gonna pre-punch these and we're gonna get back to y'all. Okay, so we pre-punched all the holes. I got you we. to do it. You. <laughs> you think I was going to do that? <laughs> anyhow, but also we want to say to the people watching who were channeling, we're channeling Young Gwen Stefani. Because your haircut is pretty much... That's Young Gwen Stefani before she was famous. Yeah. Your haircut pretty much matches that. And we said that in the last video. Although you guys said it pretty clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you push that over... Um, but what's different between you and young Gwen Stefani is she's My got nails. But, well the nails <laughs> but you can't see the nails in this picture yeah. but the other picture you can see the nails also the hair color um, so we're going to achieve this kind of color on you with this because likely that young Gwen Stefani her highlights were likely done with this as well I mean you look at that you can, you can just tell you can just tell authenticity so here's what we're going to do Perfect! Now let's get you all uh, caped up Ooh. for your protection. Mm -hmm. Did you want the pink cape? Yes. Or is it fuchsia? No, it matches. Well, it's got, yeah, we want, yeah, we want it. Um, we do. Yeah, we want to kind of like go with the color, the colorings. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Now eventually you're going to be like completely bleached blonde, but this is the beginning of that journey. Mm -hmm. So um, like I said, when we do progressive things, it's a chance to screw around with different things. So we're doing it that. And yep. here we go. So just like you did earlier. With do you them. want me to hold it down? No. So basically what you do is you, you run this in there and you pull hair out. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Like, <laughs> to me, this whole concept was like, why would you do that? Because I want to like, like go through and then, anyhow. But we're doing retro. Let's not question the retro. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that great? That was a good one. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, it's like going fishing. <laughs> we're on a fishing expedition. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this, pro this concept, but we're doing it for the channel. We're doing it for the channel. And I'm sure like people who are like pros at this, they're like watching me do this, like there are gonna be like, comments. What what are all gonna be comments for sure? <laughs> but I just don't do this, but I'm happy to do this for the channel. 
Like, oh, but you're not, oh. <laughs> I mean, like, how, like, what do you do? It's just, you, you put a cap on someone's head and you poke through the holes and you pull it out. Yeah. There is still some skill involved, but to, like, take things out like, hand by hand, there's more skill involved. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, but we're not going to question this process. We're just going to put on smiles and do it for the channel. <laughs> Yay, channel. All oh, for the experience. Oh, gotcha. Wow, look at that. Baby. Ooh, very satisfying, actually. Very satisfying. Ooh, see, I'm getting better as I go. <laughs> and then I start the front for, you know, when it's not so good. Then when it gets the back, I get even yeah. better. And you don't see the back anyway. Like, yeah. Oh, oh there you go. There you go. You've got, the, you've got the hang of it. Yeah. Then. Yep. Good fun. But you have to start in the front anyway, because otherwise, if you start in the back, you start pulling, you know, mm -hmm. it's the, um, because you could end up pulling, um, ooh, that was a big one. Yeah. Like, if you go there and move this way, you start um, going over top of your work, because your head's pushed back, right? Yeah. So you have to do it from the front and go back. Anyhow, I'm not explaining properly, because I'm not, I'm not, like, I... I think this is the second time in my life I've ever done a streaking cape. Oh, cool. Streaking cap. I think it's sliding back. But I know enough about, yeah, probably. But I know enough about, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anyhow. But it doesn't matter, we're having beers and we've got this on your head. Oh, yeah, like even more there. Because, um, why not? Oh, yeah, I'm going over some of this stuff, getting more other. Oh, gosh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's like a fishing expedition. Now, the people watching the channel, Aisa, she's coming back on Monday coming up to do this cap because I actually bought it for her, but I'm doing it on you first. It was meant for her, not you, but, but it's good to, um, but it also gives me a chance to um, have a go. Yeah, get some practice. Oh, it's better off if you don't practice. Okay. It's better off if you just wing it. <laughs> But anyway, I think I was just feeling it because when we looked at Gwen Stefani's picture, that was like like cat mm -hmm. bleached hair, and we just wanted to channel her. So, and this just came from the courier today, literally today. And another thing that came in the courier today was <gasps> where did I put it? Over there. Now we'll do an unboxing of this to someone at a time. It's a crimper. It's a crimper. So the channel needs a crimper. That's so cool. And it's a good high quality crimper. So we're going to be doing some crimping videos coming up because we're going to expand on the retro. So now we've got a crimper. Now for the crimper, I'm thinking someone with long hair, we're going to do like, kind of like just above the shoulder haircut and then crimp it like crazy. And then put her in a prom dress. <laughs> like the most ridiculous Stunning. prom dress ever. It's like, oh, I'm ready for prom. Like 1983 or whatever. Oh, 19, 1986. I think that would be more like a 1986. Yeah. Yeah. Now this thing keeps moving around. Like it's not Yeah. Tough. Do you know why? Why? I think you're meant to stretch it out before, like with your hands and all. Maybe? Yeah. I might just, uh, I might just do that. Fair It's like, even though I have to go and do it all over again, but mm. it's just not working. Maybe because we've got a big fucking head. <laughs> that, that is true. Yeah. Okay, that's sitting better now. Let's do this all over again. I, I, yeah, that's better. That's better. Like I said, any people watching, like the old school hairdressers <laughs> watching this, they're laughing. And leave a comment. Oh, they criticize me. I don't care. <laughs> because These instructions. <laughs> it's after us. We're drinking beer and we're doing this. Why not? 
Also, I wasn't getting kind of getting a consistent um, pull on them because some of them were like over the top. And as I go, you can start to see there is a technique to this. Mm. Okay, this is better. This time's better. This, is, okay. this round's this better. better. This round's better. Yeah. That's all the hairline stuff anyway. <gasps> yeah. Now we're into the meat and potatoes. <laughs> yeah. It's done. And people watching, this is not a how-to video. <laughs> it's called, that's just wing it video. Let's give it a go video. Yeah. Let's call it that way. Let's give yeah. it a go video. It's called a video. Let's give it a go video. <laughs> Oh, I told you that once mm. I got going, it's going to happen yeah, yeah. fast. It's feeling yeah. fluid. Yeah, it's feeling really fluid. <laughs> that and then we feels need a, bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> we need a fine tooth comb to um, pull it through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because once you fall into the zone, it's like you're on autopilot. Get a routine. Get into the routine, yeah. This is satisfying. It is, isn't it? <laughs> now, if I wasn't drinking beer, I wouldn't be doing this at all. <laughs> I think this only works for me because I've had a beer. I'm glad we got that beer into you then. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I think I know another one. Yeah. I'm always at the bottom. We'll grab another one. And the invercargal twist, and it goes like this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong way around. There we go. Ah, <gasps> look at that. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh he's awesome. getting them now. Ooh, Ooh there yeah. you go. I wanted to lick them. Big ass one of there. How fun is this? Now we're going to match the 1983 getting your hair colored in the mall standard. Oh, 1983. Yeah. yeah, very much that standard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We want you to look like that. I want to look like that. Yep, need to three. Cut and color. Send me back. The cuts are already there, but the color, the color, the color was uh, needed yeah. to catch up with the cut. So that's why we got this streaking cap on your head. Goodbye, lockdown bleach. Yep. Oh, this is fun. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's giving me a good itch on my scalp. You said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like frogging. <laughs> it's it's like it's like a hair color in the lot <laughs> the bottom me all in once. All of your all of your childhood memories magically God. disappear with every prod and poke. It's like oh there goes another childhood memory. Oh, oh there goes another that. childhood memory. Oh there goes another childhood memory. Goodbye times tables. <laughs> Goodbye times tables. <laughs> Goodbye summer vacations. <laughs> It's becoming numb. My brain is becoming numb. It's so fun. <gasps> so cool. Oh my god, just wing it. Just, just, yeah, wing oh, it. Just, just go so for well. it. Just, just, just like a. 
Yeah. This is not a guide, this is the inspiration. Yeah. Now, no consequence to the result of this anyway, because we're just going to bleach everything at some point. Yeah. So this is just, like I said, uh, after hours we're drinking beers and we're doing this. And we don't care about the outcome because you're going to be bleached all over it. Like, that's where we're going anyway. Everybody wants to rule the world. Well, maybe they need my goggles for this. <laughs> hey, we're getting well into it now. Hey, Put my goggles on for this. Oh, well, yeah, that's even better. Because it's ever. Now, when I went to hair school way back in 19 diggity do, <laughs> they were teaching the cap, but I think that that class that day, I skipped it. Fair enough. Because um, I was never interested in the cap. I was like, oh, that's so old school. <laughs> No, we would have been late nineties yeah. when I went to hair school, and even by then I was like, oh. So I never did end up doing this in a hair school environment. Now in the channel, I did do one attempt at a video of doing this, but the cap I bought that time was lower, like was lower quality than this one. Mm -hmm. So I ended up like abandoning and threw it out right away. I was like, this is just not working. But it was the wrong cap. But today, I got the right cap because one of the comments is get a silicone cap. Yeah. So now I got a silicone cap based on one of the comments on the channel. So here we are. This is working. Yeah. And it's right. This is actually much better than the last time I attempted a cap. So this is my second time doing a cap tech, like this second time I like ever doing this. The first time I just had the wrong cap. It was because I bought the cheapest thing online because I was... Uh, Thinking, oh, it's just going to be a one-off, but it was the wrong tool for the job. So now I've got the better quality one, and um, I, I see it now. I mean, you really have to have a good silicone cap if you want to do this. And people leave a comment like how how I'm doing with this, but you have to understand, I'm I was never trained to do this. But all I know is I'm getting hair through it, and then I'm just going to bleach it, and that's all I'm interested in. Yeah, so yeah. For, to me, my, um, it's good enough for me. What's happening here is good enough for me. It's doing what it needs to do. It's got holes. You no poke, pressure. You prod through the holes. <laughs> <laughs> Some hair comes out. Mission accomplished. Right, Mission accomplished. <laughs> so, you know, question my technique. I'm like, I don't know. All I'm seeing is results. Good enough for me. <laughs> See, now I'm starting to fall in that zone, right? Yeah, you've got a rhythm going. Yeah. I'm speeding up. Yeah. Now, from this angle, it just looks like a really cheap mannequin here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know, we could, you know, play in that way. Like, yeah. the made, like the made in uh, some weird country, third world country, <laughs> mannequin head. That just feels... <laughs> it feels bizarre, right? Eh? And it's so cool. I love that <laughs> we're doing this. It's all for my art. Thank you for suffering for my art. You're so welcome. This is, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is like the best, the best ever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you know what also when you get blonder, you know what haircut I could give you and you'd probably rock it Ooh. is uh, China Phillips haircut. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, I'm going to pause the, yeah. the channel for a minute. And people will leave a comment. When she's blonde, China Phillips haircut. Okay, we're going to pause this for a second. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, didn't that look good? Now, wouldn't it be great? Like, let's just put this cap on your head, pull your hair through, and go clubbing! Like this! Like, why not? Why not? So cute. You're like, what's going on with your hair? It's like, it's the latest thing. 
Because most people most people will get it anyway unless they're hairdresser. Exactly. Yeah. Like we'll why not? Stop trend. Yeah. I also wanted to like put perm rods in someone's head, and they go out clubbing with just the perm rods in their head, right? No, it reminds me of the um the recent Balenciaga show where they had them all in those black latex. Suits. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's giving high fashion. Yep. I could see this on the runway. Yeah. Now I think the more you use a cape, a cap, <laughs> cap, the better it gets because the more the holes um, open up. Yeah. Because at first, like this one, the holes you have to. Well, I got you to punch them. I got you to do my labor. <laughs> you did an awesome job. Thank you. I hope I didn't miss too many. No, oh, you did amazing. Now this little poker thing is a little bit hard on the finger over time because mm. it's so you, you pull and you pull and you pull and it kind of like has a pinch point on the finger so I'm just saying it, I'm just going to call it out bad ergonomics with these these crappy little metal tools bad ergonomics you could probably come up with a better shaped tool for this job you could probably get a crochet hook because I have that little True. flat thing in the middle but absolutely this is bad ergonomics because when you pull through it puts pressure on your finger but it's again like back in the 70s or 80s or whatever they came up with this technology by the 70s or 60s um, ergonomics wasn't a uh, consideration just yeah. like mass production cheap and I don't think they changed the center ever since <laughs> but as far as uh, this tool absolutely bad ergonomics wow that just looks bizarre do you know what it looks like though like a Barbie a Barbie doll hair yeah because it's poking through true. holes and they're all in like one little spot so it looks like barbie doll hair yeah like you see what i mean it looks like yeah. barbie doll hair yeah right yeah no i look like a mannequin <laughs> or i said cheap mannequin earlier yeah. but also barbie doll hair it looks like barbie doll hair Gosh, the people walking past. Oh, they're used to me. Oh, yeah. This whole I'm neighborhood's sure. used to my like, <laughs> after hours managers. And then, you know, the lights go down and the records come on and we dance in here. Mm -hmm. And some of them pop in and they're like, I thought this was a nightclub. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have, like, you know, after dark, the, mm -hmm. the disco balls are going 24 hours yeah, 7 for right. the past six or seven years now, like we've, as long as we've been here. Those disco balls have never turned off. Damn. In. Years and years and years and years and years, they're always on. That's now, when you put the lights off, I'll put them off quickly. Please. And, um... Hair rave. Oh. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... That's... The whole thing, I turned them, I put them on years ago. Be a vibe. I've never turned them off. Yeah. They've been on... I wouldn't. ...continually. But what happens is a good security system. Because everyone walking down the street always rubbernecks into my salon after hours, like two or three in the morning, because mm. the lights. Now, if someone broke in, you would be so visible because of the lights and everyone's so yeah. used to looking in. Yeah, everyone would have a nosy at the disco yeah. balls walking down Now the I do have a security system, but the better security system is my disco balls and lights. Mm. Because if you broke in here, you're like walking through this lit up freaking place after hours. Yeah. And people walking by always look in here after hours because they're mesmerized by the lights. Absolutely. So anyone breaking in here, and also there's nothing to steal. Like, what do you want to do? Steal my cap and mm -hmm. crochet your leg hook? Mm -hmm. Like, to be honest, like, if you're a thief and you break in here to steal anything, you're not a good thief. Nah. Like, you know, you could just like the jewelers or the whatever, whatever. You're breaking here after hours to take what? Moose? <laughs> <laughs> you're two minutes away from like Pasco's, come on. Oh, you know, come, yeah, exactly. Like, you're just not the smartest thief in the world <laughs> if you think there's anything of value in here. And also, if you did break in here to take something, they're going to look at, they're, everyone walking by is looking in because of the disco lights. Yeah. And so you're likely to get caught. And then you end up like in court because they're like, oh, oh you're broken in some place. <laughs> and what did you take? Oh, I was looking at the moose. <laughs> well, I was trying to decide on the next one. I was looking at the hairspray. <laughs> I was looking at the, you're like, oh. So you're going to go to jail. smelling the shampoo. Yeah, so, yeah, so you're going to go to jail <laughs> <laughs> because you broke into this place. Yeah, anyhow, it's, it's called, um, you should find a new career. <laughs> you're not a good thief. No. 
Now, I did have a friend whose dad was a thief. My, my, he's, he's a good friend of mine, back in Toronto. Now, he said it best. He said, I'm not embarrassed that my dad's a thief. I'm just embarrassed that he's a bad thief. <laughs> Because yeah, if he was until he gets cool, exactly. If he was a good thief, then like cool and all, like you know, you're good at your career or whatever. Yeah. It's just that he's a bad thief. <laughs> so it's not, I'm not embarrassed that he's a thief. I'm just embarrassed that he's a bad thief. <laughs> he goes up like in prison all the time. <laughs> Alex, Alex had cool comments. Like Alex was like one of those genius, like you know, real smart kids okay. who end up doing a lot in life. His dad was a thief. Mm. But that line was the best. Now, the other thing about this technique is I need goggles to, to do. <laughs> I just put my goggles on. It's a bit tedious. I prefer foiling. Even short hair, I prefer foiling. Fair enough. But we're doing this for the channel. Stick your noggin forward a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That just feels satisfying. We're in the final stretch here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can also, I just realized, because this is off your scalp, mm -hmm. I could use 40 volume on your hair. Yeah. Like super strong. Yeah. Fuck it, let's do that. Cool. And put it on her heat. Like, sure. let's just do, 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 we're stupid ridiculous anyway. Let's melt it off. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe 30 volume if we're going to put it on her heat, or 40 volume. No, I'll do 30 volume and not under heat. Be good enough. Yeah. Or half and half. No, just, no, screw it. We've been drinking. Let's do 41. <laughs> We've been drinking. Best excuse. Yeah, exactly. I said, like, what happened to your hair? Oh, we were drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing 40 volume. Because it's off your scalp. I just had that realization. This is off scalp. Mm -hmm. We can do 40 volume. In lockdown, I'm pretty sure I hit it with 30. Did you? Yeah. Your hair stopped anyway, eh? Foils and a hair dryer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've, done, you've been there, done that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to hit with 40. And we're going to blast it, not with like major heat. We're going to blast it with, uh, with my um, machine. I'm going to get so comfortable and warm and have to go back out into the freezing one into the wind. Oh, I know. Yeah, it is warm in your Yeah. So comfortable, it's warmer than my flat. I love the ridiculousness of this. <laughs> so we get to cover all that. Yeah. And the rest of it gets left alone. That's honestly a surprising amount of hair coming through. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 40 volume. Let's do 40 volume. Let's head Screw over it. Come this is the it. 80s. Let's do like the 80s. We've been drinking. Let's it's go. just like destroy your hair. <laughs> Not the first time. And are we going to use like a treatment? No! We're going to use K pack like it's in the 80s. Great. Now, I'm gonna have to wear gloves for this. Yeah. Because this is like skin burning. Right. I can't remember the last time I mixed together 40 volume. We're doing it for the channel. That feels cold. 
Does it feel cold? Yeah. But it's not even touching your skin. <gasps> this is fun. You can actually do this yourself. Alright. Well, you know, if you're like doing it like a home job. Yeah. <laughs> I think poking them through the little hole, you need someone to help you with that. Yeah. But the this bag. part of it, you could just do it yourself. Yeah. No consequence to your skin, at least. No. Yeah. Forty volume, all good. No going back now. No going back now. So if you end up with like a bleach, like a bleach number two all over, That's because fine. we fucked this up. We don't care. That's fine. We don't care. We're good with that too. But we are going to get you all blonde, but not cutting it off yet. Mm. But this is a good start. And then we'll do the rest of it. I shouldn't really be doing 40 volume, but we are. We've been drinking. Yeah, we've been drinking. I should be doing 30 with heat. But I'm going to do 40 with heat. <laughs> Because why not? If we're going to do the 80s, we're going to do the 80s. Oh, that is oh, how fun is this? I didn't need to mix more bleach though, I can tell already. We want your hair like saturated in this. Saturated with 40 volume. Sorry, Mom. So cool. But this day and age, like 40 volume, this is well the line we're using. Yeah. But it's so formulated with like other things as well. Sure. It's not damaging like the 40 volumes back in the 80s. Just like hit it with the heavy guns. This is time efficient. True. <laughs> it's just fun as fun. <laughs> I think I'll do a bit of risk. Yeah, risk it, risk it. That is really lifting. Oh, 40 volume, yeah. That is very Oh, yeah, quick. now we want to uh, get you as blonde as we can. That it is working. We're going to do ridiculous, we're going to do ridiculous. Yeah. Well, you people go to town mm -hmm. now. It's that time of night. Ain't no way, that's so long. I know. Go, you guys. You go, you go mm -hmm. be the best you. <laughs> They pop in here after hours too. That's great. Yeah. Do you know how I first heard of you? How? Um, there were a couple of people on my hall, um, on my floor in my hall, and they were like, "Oh, there's this guy on Bullcross Street, and he's doing free mullets." Oh yeah, that Danny, was. you need to go get a mullet. Yeah, that was a couple yeah. years ago. We did that one. Yeah. We did free mullet day for Oiwi. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I know, and they came back with these. Stunning mullets. So why can't didn't come so that day? I was too scared. <laughs> but look at your hair now. I know. Look at how we ended up. Yeah, well, you know what? You ended up with a better journey anyway. Exactly. You're too scared that day, but then here you are today. But I decided I needed a hairdresser in Wellington. And and then yeah. you uh, you already heard of me. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best. Never going back. Free mullet day. We did that one for... Now, OE week is the first week of your first, your first week in university ever. Yeah. And they do a bunch of events around Wellington. Yeah. Now, what we did was free mullet day. It's a great idea. So anyone who could, you know, you, you came in here and this is what we did. You sat down, you're getting a mullet and we handed you one of these beers. Oh yeah. Because if like the haircut, you know, that was the, that was part of the joke. Mm. And you got your mullet. Now it was majority girls that got the mullet, not many guys. Yeah. Because guys, you cannot cut a mullet if their hair's too short. So you had these girls come in 
first thing you think of these long mm-hmm. hair from wherever they come from, mm-hmm. and they got like like fucked up mullets. Yeah, and they loved it. It's great. You move to the new city, and all, oh yeah, you lose all your hair. You lose. Yeah, you, you did. You did. That's You're what that's what it was. It was like pre mullet day. We didn't film that day, but it did a few pictures because at that time I wasn't filming. Um, yeah. But the, the, all the girls that took part of the day kept in touch for like now two mm-hmm. years later. They still kept in touch. They had to come back. But did they ever love it? No. The girls that I knew thought it was spectacular. Oh, it's amazing. They were because we did amazing mods. We didn't do like trashy mods. No, we did amazing mods. Yeah. Loved those. Yeah. Now we didn't do it with the current first years because oh well, we, we got cancelled because of yeah, the uh, pandemic. Didn't it? So no, we didn't do it. But that year was a successful year. This year we couldn't do it because of um, due to the events of the pandemics. Mm. We couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, we got cancelled. Yeah. Blast it! But you, it's good you didn't do it that time because this is a better journey with yeah, your hair. This wouldn't have happened otherwise. This would have happened Look otherwise. Yeah. Now one of the um, from that mullet week, and one of the boyfriends is in a band and wrote a song. Did you hear about that? What band? Oh, I don't know the name of the band, but they came in here. They came in here all excited, like, you gotta watch this video. It was them performing it live oh. in Wellington. It was a punk band. And he was like, the, hair guy, the, the guy up the hill with the mullets and blah, blah, blah. They wrote a whole song about it. Really? That's and they played it for me, and the song was fucking good. Oh, I wish I'd heard the, the song. The guy with the beard and the whole thing. And I heard the song, and I'm like, that is awesome. That's so on. Mm. The song was good. <gasps> That's been on there a little while. Is that fun? Damn. Yeah, 40 volume. And it doesn't seem to be any breakage. No, oh, it's solid ass. It's that. solid ass. And we'll show the people from the back. Now, here's the thing. Do I like just rinse it off with the cap on and tone it? Or I just pull the cap off? No, you know what I'm going to do? I don't care. I'm going to uh, rinse it off with the cap off and then pull the cap off and tone it with no cap on. Now, some people watching be like, oh, no, you don't do it that way. <laughs> I don't care. That's how I'm going to do it. Because toner's not going to penetrate your oh, nut anyway. No. So, come on over to the basin. I'm not going to show the washing part because they don't have the other, the other camera angle set up. So, just like I said, we're going to rinse it off with the cap off, on, and then pull the cap off and tone it with the cap off. That's what we're doing over here. Sit down here. Cool. So, here we are rinsed off and I toned it. And we're only going to do a fringe trim tonight. And we're going to blow dry it over to the side. Like the last blow dry I gave you because it's kind of like young Gwen Stefani. You were doing center parties, but tonight we're doing the um, switched over. Um, yeah, so we're getting a fringe trim. Uh, short, do you want your fringe? Not much shorter. I like, I like longer fringe. All right, as short as you want to go. Oh, it, really? grows, yeah, it grows quickly. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you said as soon as I want to go. You ready? <laughs> Why was it? You're like there. No, it's gonna, it's gonna still be a longish fringe. When you said as soon as you want to go. <laughs> yeah, cool. I need to learn to not say that. <laughs> really, seriously, and I've been drinking beer. <laughs> sure, you did yeah. forty volume. Uh, yeah, you forty volume. As soon as you want to go. Okay. And the comments were like, you should have done it. You should have done it. No, because I'm not capable of evil. I love hair too much to do that. I would do it if it was like full on, like there was a plan behind it, but I'm not going to do it all willy nilly. That's, yeah. That's yeah. not. You get that fringe. Which is like I said, you're getting a 1983 haircut still in the mall. Like you got 1983 shakes, you get 93 fringe, and 1983 bow dry. This is like 1983 mall hair. It's like you work in the um, in the jean store in the mall, <laughs> and this is your hair. I'm your hairdresser in the mall. That's what we're recreating. Giving so vintage. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it with your friends. We've done it. Cool. But we're not doing. You were doing center party. We're not doing. Not tonight. We're doing the the over swish with mousse because you're gonna get a retro blow dry tonight. Whether you like it or not. Cool. Let's go. It is cool. We're going to do hardcore mousse and hardcore hairspray. Okay. 
everybody wants somebody to lean on. We were just doing traveling Wolverines. <laughs> There is your place there. Education. I'm so tired of being lonely. I still got some love to give. Mm -hmm. Oh, such a beautiful song. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Off camera, we're talking a lot about Jeff Lynn tonight, and and the best music to do for the rest of it. So that's why we ended up on uh, all these different songs. Oh, we're trying to do this. She's got it parted. Yeah. But I just want to crank some volume on the side. And we love young Gwen Stefani. We love all Gwen Stefani. Yeah. This is so fun. Alright, try and get over and get it through. Yeah, of course. Now there's no damage in this. Yeah. Now I'm going to grab a different hairspray and then the one I got before. This one. Oh, the movement? Yeah. Compared to the photo, well, you put that down a little more. Mm, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. What <gasps> young Gwen Stefani? Oh, that. Can't get over the color. That is phenomenal. Isn't that great. Now I am. Um, I could be easily persuaded into saying that caps are a good thing. Like you know, cap streaks are a good thing. Why? Because it's a very suit. It's, you know, you can like nail it with 40 volume and it. Yeah. But also, your hair is so healthy after yeah. that. But it's also the products of music. We nailed it with 40 volume mm. when we did the toner and we did. Now, we didn't use K-Pack because the modern K-Pack's not good. We did use Wella Color Motion. So the reason why I feel so good is because of this line right here, color motion, shampoo, conditioner, and treatment. Um, I would say that's like the best equivalent to a modern version of 1980s K-Pack. Modern K-Pack's not like it was in the 80s, and people swear by that. K-Pack was like the magic potion of the 80s, not the same anymore. But that is a good modern version of what the K-Pack used to be. And um, But like I said, we do the cap. It didn't grab enough of the fringe because we started there, we got better going along. A bit of dark stuff there. I actually like that. I got them this like happy mistakes. Is just what makes exactly, it's the happy mistakes, which we love as well. And when you look from the back, <gasps> we gave you Gwen Stefani's high school hair. Yeah. Like Gwen Stefani. To a T. If this is two a.m. and you can't sleep and you come across this video and you're like, oh my god, that's like my high school hair. Leave a comment below because we were like, oh my god. <laughs> we love you, Gwen. And we love your high school hair. And look, she's got your high school hair. And she loves it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and if, oh, and if this is 1986 and you're in my high school, I would ask you to prom. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. You'd be my I'd prom. I'd go right? to so many proms. Oh, definitely. You'd go, yeah. You'd be like, you'd be like, oh, I can't go with you because like seven people asked yeah. me already. I already have too many dates. Yeah, I already have too many dates. I'd be like, do you want to go to prom with me? And then you say, I already I have too many dates. Oh, the moment when my heart's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking <laughs> all the prepubescent boys' hearts. Oh, exactly. Now, even better when you uh, show up to prom, like, solo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It all, or with like, my least like, lover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like, seven guys asked him to prom me and told them all, no, I already have a date. Yeah. And he showed up there like you went solo. <laughs> even better. In a suit. In a, in a suit, yeah. Even better. Oh. Shocking. <gasps> this is fun. Now you can see a little bit of reddish in the back area, but you know what? Overall, this is freaking cool. This is freaking cool. Now I'm, I'm slowly turning. I'm slowly starting to come around on the streaking cap concept. Yeah, yeah. because I can yeah. see advantages to it. Yeah. And now you're practiced. Cool. Look at Let's that. do some after shots of yeah. Okay. Let's just shoot you in the chair. Because you know what's happening? You shoot over there, but the record player's over there. You know. Let's just shoot you in the chair. Something different. And then come over here. Show the people how tall you are. Come over here. Because I love it when girls are tall. You're tall. You're taller than I am. Yeah. Tall and blonde. Tall and short and blonde. That's gorgeous. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I want to give you a hug as well. And you're gonna be regular on this channel. I'm coming. You're riding back. hard. You're gonna be back. Right. Yeah. Me. And the next one we're gonna do, like this is the Gwen, young Gwen Stefani. The next one's gonna be as you get blonder, because we're gonna get this even blonder. Mm -hmm. Is gonna be China Phillips. Hold on, video. Wilson Please. Phillips. Yeah. Recreate it. Hold Let's on go. for one more day. <laughs> awesome. Let's go.